New information tonight on a murder investigation in Monroe. Police say they, the man who they pulled the trigger on and killed Daryl Stevenson back in September is now behind bars. Investigators say 36-year-old Robert Coleman turned himself into police. He's now facing second-degree murder charges. Back on September 20th, police say Coleman shot into a car Stevenson was driving. Investigators believe it was in retaliation for the death of Coleman's brother, Christopher. Robert Coleman's bond is set at just over $2 million.